And hello and good morning. How are you? It's Cheryl Leong here from the Growth Hub and welcome to Virtual Coffee. So today's caffeine hit for your business is going to be about how to run effective team meetings. Um, so before we start, love to hear who's on and joining us today. I'm going to share this to my personal page so we can talk to a few more people as well. Um, how are we all doing in lockdown? I mean, we're not all in lockdown. I'd love to hear whoever's in lockdown. Um, pop your little comments below. Um, how are you doing? How are you personally? How are you in your business as well? Um, you know, are you struggling uh, or are you doing okay? I'd love to, to hear how everyone is doing in the current situation because things, I'm in Sydney, um, things are a little bit challenging for a lot of businesses. Uh, we've got some clients who are builders and unfortunately um, it's two weeks, two weeks off uh, and pause in that construction industry. Um, I do know a lot of friends um, and other businesses in the retail hospitality space that are really struggling. So let's let's sort of hope and pray that we get out of this very, very soon. Anyway, we might as well get stuck into it today. Um, so why are we talking about meetings? So meetings are great, you know, having meetings because you, uh, you can collaborate, you can also um, ensure that you're all on the same page and you can keep track of where things are at, particularly major projects, how people are tracking with their KPIs and so on. However, meetings can also be quite inefficient if they don't have a particular structure in place. It's very easy for us to sometimes use meetings as social gatherings as well. Um, so uh, just, just to let you know, I mean, I've recently um, started going to BNI meetings. I've, started, I've joined BNI Networking. Anyone here that does BNI Networking, hands up here, um, give us gain. And, and one of the things that I, I found truly impressive, even when I was visiting um, BNI, was that they had such a, a strong structure around their meetings, right? There's so many people in the room and they're able to keep to um, a, a, a sort of a, a strict sort of time timeline there so that everyone gets to say what they need to say and it's it's a it's a particular process. Um, some people might find that a bit rigid and uh, but really it all comes down to to what works for you. But most importantly that it is important to have team meetings with your team. All right? But even if you are two people in your team it's important because it starts to create a mindset around team. Two, it starts creating some structure around your team. And then three, you're able to, to create levels of, like say, KPIs, key performance indicators and measures that you can continuously look at, whether it's a weekly team meeting or a fortnightly team meeting, just, uh, you know, whatever cadence works for your business is it's more of the important, important thing there. Um, so we're going to talk about sort of a little bit of a structure around team meetings if you don't already have one. And I'm going to share, I'd love for anyone to sort of comment on um, if they've got an agenda for your team meeting. You know, do you use a particular layout or um, or do you need one? Um, do you have team meetings and do you find them effective or ineffective? Um, I'll talk about sort of effective team meetings. So effective team meetings are ones that first start on time. Okay, um, so I'm going to be the first to admit that sometimes I don't run quite on time, but the whole point is that meetings should definitely start on time. And and there should be definitely someone, you know, that one um, it runs, chairs the meeting, so is running sort of the flow of the meeting. Um, two, there is some structure in place for that. So you know that there's, um, you know, who's there, first of all, that you've got a particular layout or a template for your meeting, um, that you're able to see what day, what time, who's, who's leading it. And then the body of it has a particular structure. And three, that there's certain outcomes that come out of that. So your to-do your to do list as well uh, and level of reporting. Um, so the meeting structure that, that we follow at the Growth Hub is what we call the Level 10 Weekly Meeting Agenda. And so this is um, based off the EOS 
uh, type of meeting. So ensuring that, uh, again, that you've got structure around your meeting. So I'm gonna share my screen. Hopefully you can see it here. I'm gonna zoom in, oopsie, here we are. Zoom in and zoom in, excellent. All righty, here we go. Whoops, that's not my share. Okie dokie. And so hopefully you can see here the level 10 meeting agenda. And so this, like I said, is a template that you can you can grab as well. Um, and you can type in to Google if you want a, a meeting agenda that suits you better. But this is the one that we follow because it works really well for us. Um, and it's this is a constant process, right? If, if there's something there from your team, and this is why it's important, get feedback from your team as to whether they find that, that particular agenda helpful for the purposes. So you need to have your date and time that you do it. Ensure that this time and date is booked in every single week or week or fortnight, whatever, into your calendar and it's booked out. And unless it's some, um, you know, it, super, super important reason, that meeting has to happen every single week at that time. And if for whatever reason you need to move it, ensure that that still happens. Um, so good news, I call it this, they call it the SIEG, but I call it WINS, right? And our team, we call it our WINS. Um, oh, let's talk about participants. Who needs to be in that team meeting? For our big team meeting, we call it the Big Kahuna Council meeting. Um, and it's our leadership team. So it's our leadership meeting where we've got uh, myself, um, uh, someone from our marketing area, someone from our team um, in human power. We've got someone in our finance department and our marketing, did I mention marketing? And then there'll be someone in our operations with our client, client care. So this is the leadership team that really runs all the teams that are, uh, are within that as well. These are the people that are movers and shakers in the team that are looking to transform the way that the business, business works. Again, if you're a small business, it might just be you and, and sort of an admin assistant, but that admin assistant is also still a team, um, a team leader in some way and will be down the line. Even if you, you don't wish to grow a huge team, it's about acknowledging that someone has leadership qualities. Um, so I, next for the five minutes, um, is this one talks about Bible study? We're not talking about Bible study here, uh, but it's good news from each participant. And this is personal and professional, and so you sort of need to um, to break this break this up. It can be sort of five to ten minutes, depending on how many people that you have. But it really needs to be short and succinct. Again, admittedly, this is one area that can be very easily blow up to be a real sort of show and tell. So keep it nice and um, succinct. And here's the scorecard. So report numbers relative to goals and what we call our uh, 90 day rocks, all right? So this is our scorecard where we sort of go, are we on track? Are we off, you know, off track? Um, are we on track, off track or needs to, be, needs to be started? So we almost use like a, a traffic light system. And we note down here each of the particular projects or um, rocks, what we call, we've got 90 day rocks, right? Um, so in our business, we've got 90 days and we've got our major projects that are in there and we note them down and we know how, how we're progressing for them. Likewise, for your business, you may have particular projects that you're working on and you wanna give that sort of scorecard um, uh, or num, what do we call the traffic light, the traffic light system there. Have you started? If it's yes, in progress, um, it's in, in yellow, yellow, well, green, yellow, red. Hasn't started yet, we're stuck, it's red. We're in progress, um, it's yellow, and we're pretty much towards the finish line and it's green and we're on, we're on track. So do what, do what works for you. You know, you might want to decide that's a one, one to 10 or a traffic light system. It is more so to be able to give you an overall idea of how you're tracking with your, your main projects and your goals. Um, so yeah, that's what we talk about in the, in the rock review there. Uh, sorry, that's the rock review with the scorecard. It's to do with your KPIs as, uh, from there. So KPIs may be in each of your areas. I've got my things a little bit 
swapped. So KPIs are to do with, say, for example, it might be sales, right? Um, and what you want to be able to aim towards per week or per month. And say you want to have five new clients a month. That's your KPI for the month. And how is that tracking? Um, seeing that you're in week three, are you tracking on track or whichever? So um, then you put you, you put those numbers there. So that scorecard, sorry again, that's more for your KPIs. And then you've got your rocks, whether you're on track or you're off track. Um, and any particular sort of then anything that comes out of these in terms of your scorecards and your rock reviews, that's what that to-do list is for at the bottom. You are able to then note down here, don't talk about them at the moment, it's about noting them down um, in your to-do list if that's something that you need to attend to. Where it says prospect and member headlines, this should be where you can bring out particular issues issues that you need to, to discuss in a bit more detail. Um, but this is also, again, very brief because if it is something that needs more attention, this needs, this needs to come out of that meeting and into, into a, separate, a separate call. Again, this is an opportunity here in your team meeting to be able to have everyone have an overview of where each of the departments are at and how we're tracking overall as a business. And so if you have particular headlines or issues that come up and need to be addressed, let's you know, take that out into another, another meeting, put that onto the to-do list as well. And so that's again, that, that, that is sort of a, a, a rough sort of template for a meeting that you can in use. Um, again, every business is gonna be a little bit different. Your KPIs are gonna be different. Your projects are gonna be different. But more importantly is, ensuring that you do carry out team meetings and two, that you are being consistent with them and three, that you have a clear template or agenda to them so that each of the, every week you're aware of what's happening in your business and you know a way forward. I'd love to hear from you out there as to how you're managing your team meetings now, um, particularly in the virtual space. Uh, you know, if you found tools that have been really helpful for you, um, we use ClickUp for our team meetings, keen to hear what you're using and what works. I hope you've been well. I hope you've, that's been helpful for you. Keep thriving in your businesses and we'll see you next week on Virtual Coffee. Take care, bye-bye.